My name is Drew Gardner and I'm graduating with a degree in communications with an emphasis in electronic communication. The Lord really led me to Bellhaven. Um, I was planning on going to one of our rival schools. Um, while I was there, I heard about Bellhaven and my parents forced me to come on a visit day. Um, and as negative as I tried to be, I fell in love with the place. It was somewhere um, that was just different. It was somewhere that my heart just fell in love with. And I met uh, Dr. Anthony, the communications advisor, um, and quickly just fell in love with her and her passion for students to not only just succeed in the classroom, but to take what you learn in the classroom and really excel in the working world. The opportunity to work for ESPN came strictly from my advisor um, and her contacts. She got a call or an email one day about a job opportunity at Jackson State. Um, to come work a Saturday game with ESPN for ESPNU and uh, she, she recommended me. They, they gave me a call. I showed up and they loved me. They, they said I did a great job and I was taught well and I got the opportunities from there to work uh, ESPN games. I got to work um, the LSU Ole Miss game. Um, I got to work a Mississippi State game um, versus LSU also. Um, and I also got the opportunity to go to the to two bowl games. I got to go to the Sugar Bowl and I got to go to the Independence Bowl in Treeport um, and really get to see um, the world, the sports world on the, one of the biggest stages there is. I'm now the executive producer for the Out of Bounds show. Um, it's an ESPN radio show here in Jackson. Um, I do everything from commercial edits to interview edits, um, all the live production, we're on the air from seven to 10. I'm there from six to two, doing everything that you don't see and you don't hear, but if it wasn't there, the show would be completely different. My biggest achievement ever in the whole the, the media industry in general was I got the opportunity to do um, a, a pro bono for um, the American Heart Association of Alabama, and I got to meet this woman named Joy Eden and her story of basically surviving um, multiple incidences of cardiac arrest. Um, and I got to hear her story, and I got to I got to tape it, and I got to edit it, and I really got to know her. Even though I spent two or three hours with her, but I listened to that tape over and over and over again as I edited it and I really felt like I got to get to know this woman that I'd only met for three or four hours. When it comes to the situation of going back to school, I would highly recommend Bellhaven. Um, as a high schooler coming into college, it was phenomenal for me to step into this place um, and the encouragement and the instruction that I received, but also I watched other students that were maybe coming back to college for a second or third time, and there's no, there's no change off. Um, whether you're an online student, whether you're a traditional student, it doesn't matter. Whether you're a graduate student, they're going to treat you with the same respect and love and encouragement. 